uh, the old mouse trap. Uh, you showed it once a couple months ago. Everybody at least got a little grasp of it, grasp of it. but um, this position is legit. Uh, legit, legit. So I'll, I wanted to show this uh, in a couple variations for people that try to escape the mouse trap. All right, Jay? All right. All right, guys. Um, this position we're going to show today is more likely for uh, anybody that ends up in a position where their back is taken. It's by no means saying uh, you should go for this position by giving up your back. This is simply a uh, defensive measure to uh, counter anybody from taking your back to free yourself up and maybe get submission. So what we're going to cover is uh, uh, Professor Ryan has his hooks in, he has the, uh, the lapel grip on. What I'm going to do is go for, first thing I want to do is make sure I block and he can't get the choke in. And I want to set up for my bait. My bait is to uh, get my submission with my powerful arm being my right arm. If you're a lefty, you can go with your left hand. But I'm going to show from the right arm with this example. So I begin with this. Like my legs are relaxed pretty much. I know he has his hooks in. He starts going for his chokes. I'm just going to simply block initially. From this point, I want to break this grip. Now you can break this grip one or two ways. You can grab on the wrist with your palms open and then double arm and break the grip. Or what I like to do, I like to grip, get my hand under and block so he can't get the choke. I get my grip on the wrist and I push and pull to break the grip. Once I break the grip, I keep the grip on the, on the uh, gi. I pull it out, tuck my head. My right arm, being my power arm, is going to go up and straight up behind the tricep or behind the elbow joint to lock it in. So I go straight up, I come across the tricep, and I grab, grab my lapel. Excuse me. Once I grab the lapel, I shift, tuck my head to lock the arm in, and I switch my grip to the wrist. At that time, I do opposite momentum. I push with my head, pull with my arm, and push with my wrist for a submission. All right? That's one method of doing it. To keep the arm sealed, you have to finish it. Okay, so from here, I tuck my head, tighten my grip, grab the wrist, and I simply push out. That's the submission from this. It's nothing more than a uh, modified straight arm lock, uh, code name the mousetrap. Because the guy takes it back, he thinks he's going to get the choke in, he's like a mouse going for the cheese. Once he gets the, uh, the hooks in and the hands, he's locking the trap. Um, so, one more time, I'm going to show it from the beginning. You got your back taken, you're going to go for your brakes. He's going for his chokes. You're going to block and defend, get your grip. You're going to break the grip. From here, you're going to tuck your head, bring your arm up, and grab your lapel high behind the tricep, above the elbow joint. Make sure it's locked in. Once you feel like it's locked in, you're going to release your grip really quick and grab the wrist. It's right here. From here, you're just going to tighten up on the wrist. You can have the monkey grip, tighten your neck, and push in. Okay. Here. All right. So that's the uh, standard mouse trap uh, submission with your back taken, and all hooks are in, and the guy your opponent might have the uh, the uh, hook set, and also the uh, the seat belt. All right. You have a simple submission there. You can try from the guy has your back, and you can go from there. All right. That's the first technique from there. It's a basic uh, submission. We have two more variations from that we're going to show. One if the guy defends and steps over, and also if the guy rolls to his right hand side, which is both ways we've seen uh, people do from both sides.